First question is from Barbells and Husafels. What are the best accessory lifts to increase overhead press numbers? Ah, the overhead press. I'll tell you one that had a huge impact on me. One movement or one type of movement in particular um, that just it really made me – it probably added, I'd say, 15 pounds to my overhead press. And that's coming from someone who's been working out for a long time. You know, I've been stuck at certain numbers forever. So getting me even to go up, you know, five pounds is a big deal. And those are heavy overhead carries. I knew you were going to say that. Yeah, just pressing something overhead like a, a pair of dumbbells, a barbell, a single plate, um, kettlebells, straighten my arms out, having good posture, so maintaining that strong tension, and then walking for you know, 20, 30 yards, putting them down, resting, and then repeating because it gave me so much more strength mm -hmm. at the at the at the top end of my movement where I tend to, where I I And you're reinforcing have, that support at yes. that that top position, which is everything with the overhead press. Yes. Uh, which yeah, that, that that's a great exercise. I think for me too, like uh, adding uh rotational elements to help then even more sort of bo bolster that stability in the in the whole shoulder joint uh is huge for me. So uh one of them was like a kettlebell halo. Uh, if, if I'm trying to be a little more relatable, you can do this with like a dumbbell where you're rotating it over your head and in front of your body. But uh, I like I like went down the rabbit hole with this, and, and that's where I got into Indian clubs and into mace bells uh, swinging. So it's 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 loaded uh, shoulder swings for rotation, and and it has totally transformed uh, my strength in terms of overhead press and even bench press uh, as well. So I, I highly recommend it all the time I'm recommending this. I don't know if you would count this as an accessory lift because it's kind of the same thing, but I, the two movements that I think uh, I noticed made a big difference and to, like, to Sal's point, I've been lifting for a long time. So anytime we get any sort of incremental gains and in, like the big lifts from doing something uh, that's a big deal, right? And for me, there was two uh, movements that I wasn't doing, let's say, 10 years ago that I started to do uh, more recently and saw a huge gain in my overhead press. One of those being the Z press, which you've heard me probably tout a, a million times on the show, uh, which is why I tout it all the time, because it, what, it <clears throat> made such a big difference. I think that actually speaks to kind of Sal's point, uh, because in the Z press, you, you lock out at the top and you stabilize. And so when I do the Z press, I, I, I exaggerate how long I stabilize before I come back down. Mm -hmm. uh, what I like about that is it, it gets me to where I'm in a good locked out position. It teaches me great upper body mechanics because you can't cheat it. If you cheat it at all, uh, you're going to fall over to the side. And then I get kind of that uh, isometric hold at the top, which are the benefits that Sal's talking about he gets. So the Z press was one of those movements. And then the other one that I never used to do until actually I started hanging out with Justin is I never did like a, a push press, mm. uh, which allowed me to increase the weight uh, because I got to use a little bit of body English to get the weight up over my head. Mm -hmm. uh, I came from like a um, you know bodybuilder type of a background or way of training, you would say, which is very you know tension based and slow tempo and shortening the range of motion up and you know sit seated uh, overhead press and that like that was like the the go to way to build your shoulders. And uh, I really didn't get into like push presses until Justin, but what the push press allowed me to do because I was able to use some legs mm -hmm. and body English into the movement, it al it allowed me to load the bar a good twenty five, yeah. yeah, twenty five to fifty more pounds than I was ever able to strict shoulder press on there. And just getting used to moving that much weight over my head and then stabilizing at the top uh, really not only developed my shoulders mm -hmm. but increased my shoulder press strength. Yeah, years ago um, as a kid, one exercise that had a huge care over to my barbell overhead press was the Arnold press, um, which, which I learned from watching, right. you know, uh, from reading, you know, magazines with Arnold Schwarzenegger in them. And I think one of the main reasons why it helped was because it really exaggerated the range of motion. Mm -hmm. Because I was rotating my hand and bringing the dumbbell down in front of my body, now I'm pressing from a much lower position and getting a fuller range of motion. Now, what's even better than an Arnold press, in my opinion, is a kettlebell mm -hmm. overhead press because it's very similar. Yeah, because you can keep it like relatively close to the body the entire way through because of the way it's loaded. And it, it, it promotes that nice natural spiral line that you can press your way through. So you get that rotation in your wrist and your elbow and your uh, shoulder all simultaneously. And so it's like your, your body responds to that to, to, to build a nice stable joint there.